we're really lucky on Bobbin Moor. We've got um, access to amazing dark skies. Uh, most of us, as we, you know, we live in cities and we can't see much more than some of the really bright stars, the moon or maybe a planet. But out in the, out in the sticks, out on the moors, uh, we can see some amazing sights. Uh, Carradon Observatory and Cornwall Council have been working together for almost three years now uh, to eventually apply for international dark sky status with Bobman Moor. Well I think this is really good news, I think it's a tribute to the people who put in the bid. Uh, I think it has great potential for the economy of Cornwall. Uh, co people come to Cornwall for a variety of reasons but this gives them an added reason to come down um, to view the night sky in this wonderful environment on Bodmin Moor. With a stark sky designation, it, it shows uh, the quality of the skies, the clarity, and therefore we feel now we can upgrade the observatory to a research level. And a research grade observatory will of course be benefits to outreach, to education, and everybody that's got an interest in astronomy. And one of the things that we're going to get involved in is tracking the stars and the change in light, uh, and light levels which are associated with exoplanets. These planets are so far away that we will never be able to see them directly and yet even with that by looking at the light that is coming from them we can work out how many planets there are, what sizes they are and how far they are away from the central sun. Well, we know and there's increasing uh, evidence to suggest that light at the wrong time of the day is not good for us. Um, not only does it uh, disrupt our sleep pattern, but uh, it has adverse effects on our immune system probably as well. And, and creating dark sky places is part of that step towards challenging um, the increasing levels of light pollution that we're suffering both here and throughout the rest of the world and certainly addressing it um, will have uh, positive health consequences as well. Not only is it about uh, things that we as humans like, sort of gazing up at the stars, but it's actually really good for the wildlife because there's a lot of our wildlife that rely on there being a distinct night and day. And if you've got too much artificial light, that distinction blurs. So it's really good for our wildlife. It's good that it's an area of outstanding natural beauty that's got it. It's not a park, which is usually that gets these designations. And I think it's going to inspire other bits of Cornwall. I know down in the west, they're already looking at this. And I think we'll have other designations coming along behind this one.